Hey guys, welcome to Tarot Series 7, and I'm reviewing this, which is a Marvel Legends Strong Guy Wave Blue X-Men Deadpool. So, really cool, really blessed to pick this up, and I gotta say, I have to, I have to say, I'm really excited for this one. I've always loved this Deadpool suit, I just always thought it was so cool, and I'm so happy to see they finally made it. Um, I think they made it once a really, really long time ago, but I'm really happy to see they made it again. We got a nice core review of them packaging, we got Deadpool and Deadpool right in there, we got Strong Guy's head in there. Then we got the Legend series on this side, we have some pretty cool artwork for it on the back, we have a picture of the action figure, and then we have Deadpool who overtakes the bios, and most of these which I just absolutely love. I love that they continue doing that. Then you have the other characters in Wave, and yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have Deadpool and his blue X-Men suit. Now, he's had a couple different suits when he's been with the X-Men or X-Force or just, you know, as a part of different teams. I mean, he's commonly known for the red and black, uh, but for a while when he was with the X-Men, he had this blue and yellow scheme. You know, the X-Men are typically known for blue and yellow, so I think it's pretty cool. I, like I said, I always like the suit, and I think the detailings on the face are pretty good. You got the light blue mask. It's also weird, too, to see Deadpool in blue, but I like it. You have the yellow on the eyes, and then you have the kind of silver eyes, and he's got this kind of like little wing face going on. Um, I like it. It just kind of makes it, like, give it more expression. I think that's cool. He has this strap piece, which has this giant X logo on it, which is pretty cool, and the Deadpool logo with the belt. Now, it doesn't come down all the way. I've heard some people say this because they've reused the piece from the original one, and this new mold is bigger, but to be honest, I don't really care, and I don't think it bothers me that much. I'm not sure if this is a reused piece or not, but regardless, I think it works here, and it accurately look or accurately, sorry about that, uh, looks like what we're used to, so I like it. He's also got that little collar thing that he wears on some of his costumes. He has these nice lines that go around his suit underneath the arms and go like down to the legs and they look pretty good. He also has those little cuff piece that we've seen on like Cyclops and some of the other figures and he also has them on his feet as well. And then you've got these uh, kind of like holders for the katanas. I, I think they're like, what, chiefs? I think that's what they're called. And he's got some nice pocket detailing. And yeah, pretty neat in terms of articulation. He's got a 360 at the head. He can look up and down. He's got 360 arms, swing out the shoulder. He's got butterfly joints. I really like butterfly joints. Uh, you have 360 there, double joint at the elbow, 360 the wrist, and they're on hinges. 360 at the torso. There's an ab crunch. It's a little hard to do, though, because of how he's designed here. But regardless, it's still pretty cool. The legs look forwards, backwards, and outwards. You have a 360 at the thigh, double joint knees. 360 at the boot, and the feet move up and down and rotate. So, in terms of articulation, pretty well articulate. Pretty much what we come to expect, but that's not really a bad thing. And uh, as for weapons, you get two blasters. You get one kind of like small blaster gun. Then you get a more heavy assault rifle. And these are actually done in more of like a kind of like a metallic, almost blue looking paint job. So that's pretty cool. Different than what we uh, typically see with him. And then you also get two katanas because what would Deadpool be without katanas? And uh, you have a nice silver little trim going on here with the blue and yellow scheme. And the hands also have a pretty nice tightness to it, so you're not going to have a problem losing these swords. Um, I know sometimes with these swords, they're just a little too big, and they don't fit in some of the characters' hands as well. And I don't know if it's like, usually like none of my other weapons have that problem, but it's just this sword mold in particular that I've had the most problem with. It just doesn't want to fit in some of the characters' hands. And yeah, so I'm glad he can hold them well, and I'm glad they are trying to change that with making tighter hands. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool mold. And overall, I think this is neat. You know, I think it's a cool version of Deadpool to get to. Like, we've gotten a lot of Deadpools recently, but this is kind of an obscure look for Deadpool. Um, I don't think he wore it a lot. He just wore it, like, a couple times when he was with the X-Men. Maybe not even that many times. I just remember seeing it a couple times in the comic books and on the internet when I was a kid, and I just always thought it was a pretty cool costume for Deadpool. So I like that they made it. And, yeah. And here's a comparison really quickly. Here's a comparison with Cyclops. And as you can see, they both look really good together because they both have that blue and yellow type scheme going on, which I really like. And then here's a comparison uh, with Beast. And again, you know, I just, I like seeing that blue and yellow for the X-Men. It's, it's their probably most prominent color, so that's pretty cool. And then lastly, here, or not lastly, but close to lastly, here's a comparison with 80th Anniversary Deadpool. And uh, they do look pretty good together there. And then this is the last one, but here's a comparison with the X-Men Deadpool that came out a couple years ago for the Seron Wave. And I actually remember when I got this uh, Deadpool, and it used to be my favorite Deadpool for some time, and it quite still is. I think it's a pretty nice Deadpool. I'm just going to move the gun so you can kind of see his costume a little bit better. Um, 
But yeah, I think it's a pretty good Deadpool. And as far as X-Men Deadpools go, I like this new one more because it just kind of represents the suit I'm more familiar with. Um, this one's kind of cool, but it kind of makes me think of Deadpool and the X-Men as kind of like a joke thing because it's got X-Men written on his chest. Um, but I still think that old one's a pretty good one. I just kind of like this blue and yellow one a little bit more. And I think it's kind of more of the iconic Deadpool and the X-Men look. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.